what I have got here is my floating tomato plants. What I have done is I've got um, I put some gravel on the bottom of some seed baskets, put some koi on top, and then to control the balance I put some more gravel on the top. As the tomato plants grow, I will remove the gravel from the top to control the depth that the baskets are in the water. This has been remarkably successful. These plants have been in here about three weeks. There are also some tomato fruit already on the plants. These are big lizzy tomatoes and they should grow to about two meters. Now I have floated those baskets on two lots of the float mats because one float mat was not enough and I have bound them together with zip locks. This is a, a different type of spinach. It's a red leaf, full of flavour. And here I have some more tomato plants that I've done the same way. They're all flowering beautifully, nice and green. I will have to build a support for them. These plants here are actually only on one float mat. Over there I have some silver beet. These float mats I bought from Taiwan, which were designed by someone who is, uh, has been farming this way for about 20 years. I live in a very dry area of Queensland, so growing vegetables this way is very practical. And you save a lot of water and you can eat the fish. <laughs> 